The following contest is a handicap match. Approaching the ring from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. Here's a guy who somehow turned an embarrassing 18-second loss at WrestleMania 28 into a launching point for his career. Yeah, only Daniel Bryan could turn a loss like that into a positive. It was brilliant. A lot of whispers backstage about whether or not this guy has what it takes to get the job done here tonight. And the odds aren't in their favor. It'll take a massive amount of intestinal fortitude to win this match. Oh, out of nowhere! Camel clutch locked in. Wrenching on the neck and lower back. So what are your thoughts right now on Daniel Bryan? That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. This is exactly how he drew this one up. If you ask me, Daniel Bryant has a reason to be a little confident. He's that good. You know, looking into the rearview mirror to 2013, Daniel Bryan headlined some of the biggest events on the WWE calendar, and he definitely had his ups and downs. But the highs of that roller coaster ride were pretty darn high. I mean, we've heard him talk about how much Team Hell Knows when at WrestleMania 29 meant to him. Daniel and Kane were at their peak when they defended their tag team titles that night. Team Hell No dominated Dolph Ziggler and Big E. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Wow, he was quick as a corpse on that one. Sometimes a good kick is all you need. Wow, that was...
a sudden reversal by Daniel Bryan. I remember a few big events in 2013 that didn't go as well for Daniel Bryan as the one you just pointed out, though, King. The Wyatt family ate Daniel's lunch at TLC that year. He put up one egg of a fight to even hang around as long as he did in that three-on-one battle, but that night took its toll on him. Daniel Bryan just stopped dead in his tracks, man. He's in bad shape now. So much on the line in this one, and like they say, on any given night, anything. The shoulders are down! Plenty of fight left. You're right, this guy's still near 100%. He may have lost the upper hand, but Daniel Bryan is still in this. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. Well, if you're going to talk about Daniel Bryan's epic performances in 2013, King, we can't leave out maybe the biggest one of all, the Night of Champions, when Daniel Bryan became the champion by taking out the apex predator, Randy Orton. Well, it was a championship Daniel didn't get to hold on to for very long, but it still showed that when Daniel Bryan is at the top of his game, even an all-time great superstar like Randy Orton is no match for him. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Head throbbing for weeks. Watch out! Wow, he's still down after that. Gosh, this is like that old battery commercial. This move just keeps going and going and going and going. Okay, keep going. Well, Daniel Bryan certainly has had memorable pay-per-view moments. Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler from 2010's Bragging Rights. Bryan, the United States Champion. Ziggler, the Intercontinental Champion. Both men going a mile a minute. Oh, man, that was an awesome match. The results of this attack on the back may be catastrophic. Look at the attack here. Oh, man, talk about a direct hit. Bryan certainly had that one well scouted. Yeah, that's because Daniel Bryan is so prepared every time he steps in the ring. That's how you make an impact. How does he do that? The quick reversal there by Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan, no problem getting out of that one. You know, Michael Cole, Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler at bragging rights was incredible. Whenever you have champion versus champion, it's exciting. But makes the cover. One, two. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find updates and blogs from all of your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, it's original. the cover. Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Harper may be down, but he's not out. Well, not yet anyway. Uh-oh, here it comes. Daniel Bryan's really getting going in there, and we know what that could mean. Watch out for the flying goat. It looks like Daniel could tear through the entire WWE locker room once he gets going. Daniel's one of the toughest superstars to stop. Well, we all know Daniel Bryan can drop an opponent with any number of devastating signature moves, but a single leg high knee is a true deadly weapon. That pain could be dull, achy, sharp, or stabbing. Covers. And he escapes with a kick out. Wow! We are seeing exactly what Daniel Bryan is made of. Timber! And he falls hard. If there's one place you don't want to get pummeled, it's your face. No kidding. Oh, that's hurting me. You know, Michael Cole, Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler at bragging rights was incredible. Whenever you have champion versus champion, it's exciting. Both these two superstars took it to a whole other level. That's right. It was down and dirty. Back between the ropes. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. 
He sees it. Great counter. Harper reverses it. Well, you know, for a big guy, Luke Harper can really move. The back is the largest area on the human body, and thus always a target. I know what you mean. You know, I've got a week back. How long did you have that? Well, about a week back. Oh, Luke Harper has got some bad intentions here. And there's the tag. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out victorious. And there's the neck breaker. Good luck turning your head after that one. Yeah, you have a stiff neck for weeks. You know, the moves that Bray Wyatt has at his disposal are vicious. One is more severe than the next. Let's face it, his throw suplex, clotheslines, cross body, the avalanche, and running senton can put anyone away. Oh, yeah, and seeing that spider walk, that'll give you nightmares for months. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to break. The shoulders are down. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. When you see what Bray Wyatt suplexes, clotheslines, cross body, and running sentons do to an opponent, it's incredible. After Bray Wyatt avalanches an opponent, you can actually see the unhinged look in his eyes. It's like he becomes filled with a twisted joy over other people's pain. He wasted too much time on that one. We're witnessing a merciless assault. No mercy whatsoever. He goes to the quick pin attack. And the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. I don't think Bray Wyatt knows how to quit. He's in full-on attack mode now. The offense of Daniel Bryan is working well right now. Sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced an eerie silence that falls over an entire arena like I do when Bray Wyatt announces he's here. Even in darkness, you can see the whites of people's eyes and the audience fixated on Bray Wyatt and frightened beyond explanation at what he's going to do. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Good grief! How is he still conscious? If you ask me, Daniel Bryan has a reason to be a little confident. He's that good. You know, I've been in a lot of arenas, and I've seen what an insane move by Daniel Bryan. Listen to the WWE Universe come alive for Daniel Bryan. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live. Just like we are here tonight, this is wonderful. The running sent time. This one's in the books. Call it a night. He's got the shoulders down, Cole. This could be it. I think you can tell by looking into the destroyer. What a tremendous victory.
Follow the buzzer.